Hello and welcome to the Aero-V engine assembly video series. I'm Joe Norris at Sonics Aircraft LLC. In this series of video segments, we are going to walk through the assembly of an Aero-V engine. We will be following the sequence called out in the Aero-V assembly manual. The manuals get updated much more often than the video series. So if there is a case where the manual and the video series disagree, your manual that came with your engine is the guide for you to follow. But in general, all of the steps that we have in the manual will be shown in the video series. We hope you enjoy the video series. We hope you enjoy putting together your Aero-V engine. And we look forward to seeing your airplane flying. In this series of videos, we've talked about the basic assembly of the Aero-V engine. In some of the segments, I mentioned a difference between the normally aspirated engine and the turbocharged engine. In this segment, I'd like to take a look at the two engines and see just exactly what those differences are. On this side, on my right, we have the normally aspirated Aero-V engine. This is the 80 horsepower engine. And the back of the engine is where you'll see most of the difference. You can see here that we have the Y-shaped intake manifold with the aero injector at the bottom. And then you have the two separate exhaust pipes, uh, two into one on each, the left and the right side. And here's your starter, your secondary ignition, your primary ignition. Very simple, very basic, very open architecture, uh, very easy to work on, very lightweight. Now, for those that need the extra performance, we now offer the Aero-V Turbo. And on this side, we have the turbo engine. And you can see right away the difference uh, is all in the back of the engine here. This is our turbocharged system. You can see the turbocharger itself is right here. It's a Garrett turbocharger. Uh, the intake system is on this side, the red anodized intake tube. And here's your aero injector. Draws the charge in, and then it goes into your intake manifold. Now, you notice the difference here between the Y-shaped intake manifold on the normally aspirated engine and the turbocharged engine, which has this uh, intake manifold that goes across the top of the engine here. The intake charge comes through the turbo, enters into this T, and splits off to the two sides of the, of the engine. So you have your intake system above, and then the turbocharger is driven by the exhaust system, which is down below. And again, the turbo exhaust system has uh, all four header pipes are welded into a single weldment. They cross over in the back down low. Then you have this large uh, standpipe coming up here to where your turbo is mounted on that standpipe. And then outside the turbo here on the outside is where your exhaust actually goes overboard. So this system is uh, obviously adds some weight adds some complexity to the engine, but it also adds a considerable amount of performance. This is a 100 horsepower engine as compared to the 80 horsepower normally aspirated engine. And the key to the turbo is the fact that it continues to create that 100 horsepower up into the higher altitudes. So if your aircraft is based in Denver or some other high altitude area, or you're in an area that has a lot of high summer heat where you get high density altitudes at your field, you may want to consider the turbo engine as your option to the normally aspirated engine. It adds a few pounds of weight, but it adds a considerable amount of performance, and we also get an extra 50 pounds of useful load uh, when you go with the turbo over the normally aspirated engine. So it is a good choice for those that want the extra performance or need it because of high altitude operations. So you have your turbo here uh, in that installation, and you have your normally aspirated engine here with that installation. The core engine is the same in both cases, and all of the uh, assembly uh, instructions that we gave you in this um, video series and also in your manual will apply to each engine. So enjoy building your Aero-V engine and fly safely.